Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this dynamic chart here using the radio button. So when you select um, whatever is the in the radio button, for example, that one, then the chart will be updated, the data in the title as well. And uh, we're going to do it in the shift, shift 2. So let's start with this. So the first thing is to create the radio buttons. So uh, the first thing is to make sure that your developer tab is open. So I'll go to this uh, developer tab and then uh, in this insert, I will choose this radio button here and then I will create one and then edit this name. I will use uh, depth one, the same as the headings here, enter and then right click and choose copy, control V and then change it again into depth two. Control V, Dep 3, Enter, and Control V, Dep 4, Enter. I'm going to select one of it and then Control A, and then no. I'm going to select it one by one here to group it as a one straight line. And then after that, I'm going to select one of it, Control a I will go to this Format tab and then Align, and then I will group it as uh, Align Left, and then Distribute Vertically. I think that's it. I'm going to select it all again, Control a and put it here on this side. Now, the next thing is to... Uh, select one of it, then go to Format Control, and then in the cell link, choose C10, which is the assigned cell here, and click OK. And that's it. When you check it, when you click that one, this is 1, that 2 is 2, and 3, and 4. So that's it. Now the next thing is the data for the chart. So the first thing is the header here, whatever is the department being chosen. So I'm going to use the index for that. So I'm writing the index. And then the array will be in this area. And comma. Row number is not neither, needed. So another comma. For the column number, we're going to use the assigned cell here. And then close it. Enter. That's it. When you choose depth 1, depth 1 will be in here. Now the data for depth 1, which is here. I'm going to use index and match for that because the, the data here is in a table format. So, index, the array will be all of this area, F4 to lock it, comma, the row number will be supplied with a match, lookup value now will be the quarter here, whatever is the quarter, comma, then we're going to use this um, lookup array here, lock all of them, comma, we want the exact match, close it. And then comma again, another match for the column number. The, now the lookup value will be whatever is the heading here, but lock the row. So put a dollar sign before the 15 here, comma. The lookup array will be in this area. And then F4, comma, leave it blank because you want exact match. Close the match and close the index, enter. Copy and paste it. And that's it. That's the data uh, we need for whatever is the chosen um, options in the radio button. So I'm going to check it meantime. So that's it. That's correct now. Now let's um, create the chart. So just select this area and go to the insert tab and then click this recommended charts. So I'm going to, I'm not going to edit any chart for that. I'm going to use the recommended chart and then I will use this clustered column and click OK. So that's it. Actually, that is now working. So the last thing will be the chart title here. So what we do next is just a simple concatenation using the ampersand. So I'm going to write quarterly re report for, let's say text, and then we need an ampersand to connect this space, um, code space, code, another code, and then another ampersand, and then connect this title here. We need an equal sign here, by the way. And here. 
okay enter and that's the title chart title and then link this chart title here in this cell click enter and that's it now it's changing including the title and let's finish and finish here i'm done if you like this video you can subscribe in my channel and see you next time and thanks